Hello everybody, so today's video, first of all I'm trying out a GoPro just for the driving segments because it's much better and should be stable. Um, we are going to be going to every supermarket. Basically right now there's a heat wave in England reaching temperatures we've never seen in the 40s. Yesterday it was 42 degrees. 42. We are not built for this. Now I know other countries that 42. <laughs> That's our winter. Well, let me just say 42 degrees Celsius when we've never had that before and the houses are insulated to try and keep the heat in many reasons it's just it's just not right so i thought how can i possibly stay cool supermarkets supermarkets have aircon let's just find a way to stay in all the supermarkets so we're gonna go to all the different supermarkets a see what their aircon's like and b we are going to buy all the different supermarket cakes because it's my birthday on sunday baby and i want to know what the best supermarket cake is and i've done this before with colin the caterpillars but i just want to know what is it like with normal birthday cake now i'm really torn as to what approach to take do i take the approach of like just picking what cake calls to my name or do i take the approach of doing like the exact same cake so normally a standard birthday cake in the UK is like a Madeira sponge and a bit of jam and buttercream and then fondant icing on top. So I feel I'm gonna try and go for that because most supermarkets should do a variation on that. Um, so we've already been to Morrison's and Waitrose. Oh, heck, the man's already gone. That's brilliant. I didn't think he would go already. Oh heck, I'm squeezing through. This might be a bad idea. This is a bit fun. <laughs> What are the chances? I didn't think that I'd be getting food this early. That's sick. I love it. I'll be riding shotgun. No postcode envy. Woo! Come on, crowd. Let me hear you. Put your hands in the sky. Jump, jump, jump. I think this is the best song in history. I would like to reach out my hand on my sail. All right. We're at the car park. I have very particular taste when it comes to parking my car and I know what I like and I know what I don't like and I would rather walk if it means picking a car parking space that I like the look of, alright? So none of these taking my fancy, none of these, none of these, none of these, none of these, you can forget it, you can forget it, uh-uh, I'm doing it, <laughs> feels good, feels right. I'm here at the supermarket, I'm about to start my journey into picking all of the cakes. So we're gonna go and get the first one now. Now off I went on my merry way in the absolute boiling hot heat. As you can see, I was melting. The first supermarket we were going to was Waitrose. Now if you're not familiar with English supermarkets, Waitrose is the more bougie end of supermarkets. And I was so happy to be in an air conned supermarket. So flipping happy, couldn't, be, couldn't stress how happy I was. And they had a few different types of cake, um, but they didn't have loads of variation actually. I, I was very surprised. But I just wanted to play it safe and just get a classic old birthday cake. So that's what I got. But there are a few that I probably wanted to try. Like I'm just so intrigued. Loads of supermarkets keep doing this unicorn cake and I thought that might be nice. After we were done in Waitrose, we then went to Morrison's. Back to the aircon, baby. And I was a bit underwhelmed by the array of cakes that they had here. And they only had one with that Madeira and jam and buttercream and fondant that I told you about. And now we're going to go to Asda, Aldi, Lidl, Sainsbury's because they're all kind of, you know when it's all like in one of those big cohorts? So that's what I'm doing. Something you should know about me is that I like to make anything into a game. If I can turn normal day activities into a game, then I will. And one game I like to play is number one when I'm doing these drive with me's is what car is in front of me, but it's a boring white van, so that's not fun. I'm going to play Guess What Song will be on the radio right now, Harry Styles. That new great song by the 1975. Okay, let's see. Ready? Three, two, one. What the heck? This is so old, but it's a great song. Enough of that. Then we went to Audi. We got our cake. I've never actually been to this Audi before, so I might just have a little browse as well, I must admit, because why the dickens not? Yeah. Okay, birthday cakes are a bit thin on the ground here. The only cake we have is this chocolate one. They only had two options, but I knew she had this nice woman because I was only buying one thing, let me go in front of her, and I just thought she didn't have to do that. How nice is that? Okay, big value, little prices. I am not seeing any birthday cake. Oh, hello. 
chocolate. Do they have a non They have, again, they have the same. Hang on. Is Audi and Lidl the same company? Because this looks exactly the same. The Audi and the Lidl look so similar and they don't have any ones that have fondant icing on. Another one by the dust. We are about to go to Asta. Also need to get some lettuce and some coffee. Just essential. Asta has definitely got the best array of cakes. And look, you can even personalize them. You can put different things on them. That is so fun. I want to do that. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Look at all these cakes. This looks so yummy. I love m and Oh, Okie dokie. Artichokies. I just got the last cake in Sainsbury's. I, mean, I think I've covered all the supermarkets in England. I feel like I have because the reason this video was all kind of prompted was when I had the co-op cake the other day and the co-op birthday cake was so good. So I feel like nothing's going to beat that. This right here, this thing, it's delicious actually. Tremendous and this guy, to be fair, I'll give you a shout out. Beautiful, stunning. Oh, I also got some of these. I love these, these crunchy corns. They're so satisfying to eat. I've never felt it's more satisfying texture already. Okay, here we have all of the cakes. It's funny how it goes from biggest to smallest and then big. Um, but these I have price ordered. So it goes, should I tell you the prices? So Audi are cheapest. Then it goes Lidl, Morrison's, Sainsbury's, Waitrose, which I feel like we all anticipated. But no one saw this coming. Asta, most expensive, coming in at £9.50. No one saw that coming, including myself. I'm really, really surprised. Um, and weird that the cheaper ones are both buttercream and the rest are fondant. Also, why do birthday cakes love stars? What do stars even have to do with birthday? Oh, like celebrate, woo, you're a star. Get it, I got it, don't worry about that. Let's examine the cakes from an exterior point of view. Now they are all out. So personally, if we're looking at all of the cakes, I would probably go for this one, which is the Waitrose one. I don't know why, but these two do look very similar. However, I just feel like this one is a bit more fine tuned. I think it might be the stars on the ribbon. I'm just saying. This one looks too flat for me. Doesn't have enough va va zoom. I don't like the, the birthday writing. I don't like how they've done that. This one looks really weird texture. Like this kind of looks a bit like buttercream on top of fondant. So don't mess with that. And then these two look exactly the same. But there looks like there is not enough filling in my personal professional experience. And this one too, it just I just feel like there could be more filling in there. Um, so that is how I feel about the cakes. What one would you go for? I definitely think Waitrose and Sainsbury's so far are the winners, but we'll see. These guys might reign champions, because let's not lie, Audi, great food. They all look so flipping different. The Morrison's one looks dry as heck and there's not enough buttercream. This one from Sainsbury's looks like it might come through, but again, a little bit dry. And the Asda one looks quite promising, and the Waitrose one looks a little bit crumbly, but we'll taste them and see. I don't know where to begin on my cake tasting. Do I start on the most expensive or the cheapest? I feel to start on the cheapest and work our way up. So this guy, cheapest is Audi, and cheapest by a long way, because it's so much bigger as well. Um, so let's give it a go. I want to get everything in the mouthful. It looks quite light and fluffy. That is not bad. That, that sponge is quite light and not dry at all. I feel like that's quite a nice ratio of everything. Maybe I would personally have a touch more buttercream on top, but I know people are funny about buttercream. They don't love slabbings of it. Mm -mm, they just like a little Kind of like how I like Marmite, just a thin little shush on it. Um, the one thing I will say is this is pure sugar. Now I know, don't get me wrong. Cakes should be sweet and they should be like, yes, I am a cake. 
you know you should be know that you're eating something sweet but this one i feel is actually like hurts my mouth a little bit because it is so sweet and because i think that strawberry jam in there it is like doubly sweet whereas if that was a raspberry jam the tartness of the raspberry jam might contrast it and add a little bit of some sun you know what i mean it's hard to give the first mark though because i haven't got anything else to judge but i'm gonna say audi is a solid six is much too sweet in my opinion but the sponge is good and i like the cake it looks like rustic and homemade let's go for little i want to see how different little is also they had a good amount of decorations on that one as well i don't know if i'm too harsh was that too harsh mm. little is so much better that's much less sweet and the little balls on top of chocolate so that adds a nice bit of depth of flavour having the chocolate element in there. Sponge is great. A lot, a bit more buttercream. Not too much, just the perfect ratio. I'm saying this is a big, big contender. I like this one. Lidl is coming in clutch. That could be dabbling into the nine territory. But for now, I'm going to say it's a seven. I like you. I like you, Lidl. You're, you, you've got a soft spot in my heart, all right? Up next is Morrison's. Now I'm not gonna judge a book by its cover, okay? I'm just gonna try it um, and be try and have neutral feelings because I don't like the look of it. Um, it's very dry looking and also so small. It's such a small bean. No, as I thought, the fondant's quite grainy. It's a little bit gritty. And it's just a bit lackluster. I, it, again, I'm just getting sugar. I'm getting no flavor. I actually think that might be a three. That, also it's got a bit of a funny aftertaste. Kind of tastes a bit like machinery or like metal. I do not like that one. That one is definitely getting a three. Now, if I was at a three-year-old's birthday party, I would eat it. I'm not a snob when it comes to cake. But when we've got other supermarkets to choose from, ain't no way am I picking the princess cake. That's what I'm going to say. I'd love to know how many princess cakes they sell in a day, in a month, in a week, in a year. Up next we have Sainsbury's. And Sainsbury's are so hit and miss with cakes. I've had some great times with them. I've had some not great times. So this could be hit or miss. Here goes. Fondant is quite nice and smooth. I like that fondant. Sponge, not bad. I feel like when you chew it, it coagulates nicely. Like it produces sort of moistness. Do you know what I mean? Um, not bad. I'd say I would get that one again, but I feel like if you left it another day, it would be so dry. I feel like this guy looks like he's gonna dry out very quickly. So not happy because there's nothing that's adhering the fondant to the cake. So the fondant's just peeled off there. Can you see that? It's just like a roll cake, whereas normally like a nice little, just a thin layer of buttercream. I'm not asking for much to adhere that to there. So actually that's taking it down a peg. I'm gonna give Sainsbury's probably a five, I'd say. Moving on up to Waitrose. I really don't know how this is gonna go from Waitrose, but let's see. First of all, again, Waitrose has done the same here and they haven't adhered the back of the fondant onto that. And I've just managed to like get a bit off. Anyway, let's get a nice big, juicy mouthful with everything on it sorry waitrose but your sponge is dry and if i remember when we did our colin the caterpillar taste test you ranked the worst that sponge is dry dry than the sahara flavor is good and it's not too sweet like i'm, I'm always tasting a bit of butter a bit of flour a bit of sugar a bit of egg um so the flavoring is good but it's just so dry and claggy a bit lackluster I'm going to say Waitrose is a five, but for very different reasons to Sainsbury's. But they're both kind of on a par, but they each have their own drawbacks and they also have their own positives. Just like life, everyone has their own drawbacks and their own positives. So now I'm going to try Mr. Asda and see where he <laughs> falls, because this is obviously the most expensive boy. He's the priciest, £9.50. Coming in at a major £9.50. That I feel like taste how I imagine birthday cake from a supermarket to taste. The icing is a bit grainy and granular. Um, and it's not, it's not that it's dry. It just kind of leaves your mouth 
wanting a touch of water. But it's not dry, it's just quite like dense and claggy. Um, but I like the buttercream and I like the jam. And as you can see, the icing's actually adhered to the cake, not like stupid Sainsbury's and Waitrose. It's all right. I wouldn't be running to get it again, but I wouldn't be like flipping up. I'm not eating that ever again in my life. Do you know what I mean? So Asta, I'd probably say is a six. So ranking in top tier is 100% co-op. Co-op just absolutely slayed the game. Don't know if it's because I was just really craving cake or if I just had it on a really good day. Because some days the cakes differ. Sometimes factories and bakeries haven't got that quality to control under check and sometimes you'll have a really dry cake and the next day it will be so moist. Lidl 7. You know what? I'm going to bump Asda down because I've just thought about the Audi cake and I want to... I want to rethink that one. Audi 6. Asda 5.5. Waitrose and Sainsbury's joint with 5 points and Morrison's taking 3 points. So, all in all, been very fascinating. I've forgotten Tesco's. How can I forget Tesco's? That's heartbreaking. I feel like I'm gonna need to do this all over again and put Tesco's into the mix. Or try chocolate cakes. There's so much to be had here. I would love to do this in America and try theirs because they're so different in America. They kind of go for, I don't know what they do to their sponge, but it's white, it's whipped, it's light, and their frosting is so good. It's so much better than English cake, I'm not even gonna lie. I put my hands up, I prefer an American birthday cake. Like the one in Costco, Costco cake, I've not put this in the mix because that is just elite. That's a 10 out of 10 without even thought to it. Costco, amazing. We love you Costco, till the day I die.